the Art Factory of White Mills hosted their fourth annual High School Emerging Artist Showcase, a curated show for young local artists. Hi, I'm Cindy, and this is my husband, Jerry, and we are the owners of the Art Factory of White Mills. And welcome to our fourth Emerging Artist Showcase for high school students. Um, this event came about because we were looking for a way to give back to the community. And um, it seemed like a really great idea, and I think it is. We are a gallery with over 60 local artists, and this gives us a chance to show off the soon-to-be new artists. The area is abundant with quality artists, as anyone will know, and we're thrilled to bring things together and keep moving forward. This yearly event is open to high school students from the Wayne Highlands, Western Wayne, and Wallen Palpac school districts, as well as homeschoolers. Each student can submit up to four pieces for review, critique, and exhibition. The works are then judged by local artists. Let's hear from some of this year's emerging artists. I've been doing my work for a while, since like sixth grade. Um, I got into it because my grandmother, she was a big influence on me. I've been hanging out with her a lot when I was younger. I work mostly with oil pastels. I like to focus my pieces on people, because people are always around me. And I feel like you can tell a lot in a piece with people and the face that they display. Most of the pieces I do are people that I know personally. I find it easier to draw and create when I know them and I can visualize it. In August, I actually plan to go to Millersville University, but I'm going to be pursuing English education, but doing art on the side, of course. I like working with chalk and oil pastels. The charcoal is one of my favorites to work with, which is what I use to create the pelican and the glasses. Uh, I want to do bees for a while. and. For oil pastel, I feel like I could capture the bees more in them. I do most work outside the school. School is more for the classroom work. I plan on pursuing art. I started with photography last year, and then this year I got into like ceramics and drawing. We had to make an animal, and I just figured I might as well do a peacock because they're cool. And it was a challenge. <laughs> it was a lot of work. I plan on going to IUP in August, and going for art therapy. I work with watercolors a lot, and I started ever since I was young, but I really started drawing when I was around in fifth grade. I did my hallway, and the floor was kind of boring, so like, hey, let's spice it up a little. So I did a little bit of dripping, because I thought that would look cool. Art, it's more of a release for stress and just a release of emotion and to build up on yourself. Um, I do plan on going into art in the future. I started doing a lot of self-portraits this year. That was the first one and I was really, really excited about it, so I framed it. My work is colored pencil, acrylic paint, and pen and ink. I have a lot of um, emotions and a lot of my art is um, inspired by the music I listen to. After school, I'm going to apprentice in um, a tattoo shop in Scranton, Slinging Ink. I think that's where I can mostly be myself because I have piercings and I want to have a lot of tattoos. And I just, I would like to put my art on other people. And that's just what I wanted to do for a while. 